Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is the first video uh, and the first tutorial about C language, the C programming language by Engineering Victor. Right? Uh, we are going to teach you uh, the C programming language in a series of tutorials, inshallah. And uh, this is the first one for that. First of all, let me introduce you to the uh, compiler, to the software that we are going to use to program uh, our uh, different programs in. A C language and the compiler that we're going to use throughout our uh, tutorials would be dev C++ 4.9.9.2 right this is easily available on internet and you can download it from there and install it and then you can use it first of all what you have to do is go to the file to start up a new program you have to go for new and then the source file right here it is it is created untitled one right now you have to go for um, saving it in C language so you have to go to save as um, this will open a new window like this one and you will just save as type C source file right C source file here we have selected it and we will name it now E um, suppose I name it for working right working so this is the first working of, of C language right here it is now it will show you as working dot C that is it's a C language program so this is how to set up uh, the sheet the program uh, uh, set up the compiler to run the program right that's it uh, and now we begin with the, the programming right so first of all uh, start out with hash include what you have to do is put a less than mark then a greater than mark in between them we go for standard input and output header right what does this mean is that uh, this command asks computer or orders computer or directs computer to include standard input and output header right now what this standard input and output header is this is in fact a list of functions or a list or a library of functions for example functions like um, that maybe we'll be going to include printf or scanf right we're going to explain you uh, all of them later on however this is a, a list of functions that now can be included in our, our programming right after doing after saying this we ask computer to uh, recognize all those functions that are included in this library or list uh, or recognize all uh, the functions that are included in this list right so we in, uh, ask computer to include standard input and output header which is a library or a list of functions like printf scanf and rest of other functions which will be explained to you uh, by the time and by the way we go uh, ahead right so uh, now we proceed on to int main braces and void right the main uh, function is any activator function it is included in every program of the C language and this is the first and the main and the foremost function for every C program right this int stands for integer and void is an argument that is void right and uh, we're going to explain you the meaning of void and in a more detail in a more detailed manner ahead of this tutorial uh, um, after this tutorial sorry in the next tutorials in the upcoming tutorials whatever we are going to do so uh, the, uh, first uh, for now you have to understand that main is in fact the activator function of C language and now we proceed on to our programming one thing that is to be mentioned over here is that every C program uh, is always uh, made in between two uh, curly braces that we have just typed in here these two are the curly braces in which uh, you have to make up or design your program always anything written in between them would be considered as uh, your program as your direction right so we give a space here and now we move on Today the uh, tutorial will be about writing a string of text, right? 
a string of text of words on uh, uh, your uh, through your C programming. So for that we have a function called print f in C language, right? A print function or a print factor, whatever it is, uh, the print function, right? Um, uh, so this directs um, the computer. This directs computer to write the string of text or to write the text. Now, what text we are going to write, and how the computer is going to recognize that here, from here, or from this point, the text starts. First of all, you have to put the braces, right? And in between, we go for the quotation marks. Now they are in red here in this, and. Uh, now we write whatever we have write. We cannot write it straightforward. Without these quotation marks, the computer would not be able to read that now the string of text is going to start. Um, and we write on uh, there, welcome to C tutorial, right? This is welcome to C tutorial. Sorry, uh, I have missed someone, something right here, right? So here it is. Now the computer asks. Now what we have commanded here is to include standard input and output header int main void. This is the function. Then we start up our program by this braces with us asking computer to type or uh, or to output or to give us an output in the form of a string of text. And this inverted commas or you say quotation marks show you that uh, show the computer that this is a string of text that is welcome to C tutorial and now the command ends for the ending of command you have to put a semicolon and that's it now this uh, mm, semicolon in fact means that now the function the previous previous commandment is over now and now we're gonna direct our computer for the next commandment right so at every uh, command at every function at the end of every function you have to put a semicolon otherwise the computer won't be it easy to uh, read your program right now if we execute whatever we have given up till now uh, you'll see that the computer reads computer executes all that and computer reads this printf function it outputs however after the reading and giving an output it quickly and immediately exits right so let's suppose here we go to execute you have to go to compile and run and just see um, there would be a flash that was a flash and it went away right now what does this mean this means that computer performed all the action that we had directed to it however it just exited and after immediately after that right now we want to see what we have actually done we want to visualize our uh, directions visualize our work right for this we have a function get function right sorry get right and we have to put it in empty and once again semicolon right here here we go so what does get mean this is get character mean the computer will now wait for a next character a next command from us till the time we do not give it it will keep on showing us what we have commanded already right so this is in fact a type of a stay on function, right? Hold on function for the output, right? And the, uh, the curly braces, it means the function, the command, the program has ended now. So this was the first tutorial. Revising again, include standard and input, out, uh, input and output header, which is a list of functions. Right now, uh, the program will be included. Uh, this list of functions will be included in the following program, right? computer will pick up from there right now the main this is an actual activator function and it is included in the every program before every program of C language right then print of function which is a function for showing the string of text the uh, the quotation marks show you the, mm, the uh, show the computer directs the computer that now the string of text starts the semicolon is for every end function and gets is a stay on function ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching us and we hope you would be uh, subscribing to our uh, Engineering Factor channel on YouTube and supporting us and encouraging us. Thank you very much. And now let me uh, show you the results of our work, right? Here we go to compile and run. Uh, here it is. Welcome to C tutorial. This blinking line in fact now means 
that computer is waiting for our next commandment commandment can be anything for example I type um, s right s and that's it it's gone so this was the get function and all for today's tutorial thank you very much once again